Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about my five top upgrades that have happened to the van. See if you uh, think of the same sort of thing or if you're looking to upgrade your van maybe this is maybe some of the things that's going to be on your list. See how they work for me and see if they'll work for you. So let's get into it and just see what I've done. So first up is solar power and on my van I have a 100 watt solar panel. Pretty standard panel this one, nothing exciting, um, it's looking pretty scabby right now so I've got to sort that out. But yeah, it's um, it's been working pretty well so far. So this gets connected inside the van to my charge controller, which is a PWM controller. It's These aren't the best controllers to get, but it does the job for, and it has worked pretty well so far. But if you have an MPPT one, you'll get a much better charge out of them. So yeah, so this uh, obviously connects straight to my leisure battery. Um, now the leisure battery, another one of those items actually needs changing every now and then because it's only got so many charge cycles. This one's tiny. It's far too small for the things I've got connected um, so another upgrade <laughs> so this kind of charges everything like the lights and the fridge so it keeps everything running if you're not on a powered hookup so I find that incredibly useful so number two is the swap loom kit now if you've got no idea what I'm talking about this is a brief overview of what it does you have a starter battery and then you have a leisure battery and then connected to the starter battery from the factory is the electric blinds the stereo the 12 volt power sockets and the internal lights and the folding mirrors and um, you basically want them swapped over to the leisure battery so you can use them without turning the key in the, the socket and it doesn't run your starter battery down so your swap loom kit will swap it from the starter to the leisure battery um, so it has like quite a lot of uses this really if you if you don't drain your starter battery when using your stereo if you're on a campsite then you're going to be able to start the van the next morning but for me the biggest sort of one for me is being able to use those electric blinds without putting the key in the ignition i couldn't figure out at first why everyone else has worked this way but um, yeah so you need a swap loom kit to make that happen so at number three is lpg now my van runs on petrol and lpg if you've not seen my earlier video on it um, and this enables me to save 50 percent on the fuel and it's a lot cleaner emissions um, it's getting a bit more tricky to find lpg but it's a fantastic system really and yeah i can't fault saving money when you're filling up the van so at number four is the bike and roof rack this is possibly one of the best upgrades i've done what a brilliant thing to have it's great obviously its primary function is the bike rack which as you can see here does a great job but its second function is to be a carrier for all of our other stuff so i tend to put all things like wetsuits and wellies and as you can see there toilet and ground sheet on the back and this just gets all those things from inside the van this is a quick picture of us when we was on on the way to france as you can see fully packed with things and coupled up with that is the roof rack well, the roof rack doesn't get used quite as much as the bike rack in daily use but when we go on holiday it really comes into its own uh, we put things like the boogie boards the toilet tent and all the chairs up there so they're really big items to have in your van so as you can see here there it's all there all on board we've got the, using the bike rack and the roof rack this was a trip to Cornwall that we did um, you're probably thinking how do I get it down um, so I've got this tiny ladder which was part of a loft ladder and I just put that under the bike rack and it's really easy to access the roof using that so the last one is the conversion. Now this is obviously a big one and there's several parts to it, but I'm just counting it as a whole because it was one thing really. Um, this is the best conversion we've had in the van. As you've probably seen from my other videos, we've been through three different conversions, but this one definitely suits us the best. Um, and that's what you gotta do, find the best one for you. And when you get it right, you'll, you'll see it as a really massive upgrade. A lot of people just keep the vans as just just vans with the seats in and i think that's a really good idea um, because then you can just figure out what you do actually want um, so this worked for us pretty well so i'm so happy with the way this is this actually turned out and it was a huge improvement so to me this is an upgrade from what was there before so yeah this is uh, the top five upgrades so you've seen my top five upgrades and uh, they've all been super useful, absolutely amazing, well worth the money. Um, but there's obviously future upgrades, so things I'm gonna do next, um, which I thought I'll just tag on to the end of this video so you sort of see what might be coming up and um, see what I'm thinking, see what's kind of missing from the setup. You know, it's good as it is, but it still needs a little bit more. There's always more you can do, as there always is with the camper vans. So the first one on my list as my future upgrade is a diesel heater. So 
everyone's got these diesel heaters now they're pretty cheap now but i've just not really got much space to put it in so that's the biggest concern so hopefully if i can get over that hurdle i will be installing a diesel heater in the future um the next one is an actual roof box uh, for the pop top so that'll be amazing if i can get one of those um, that'll just help out so much we can just put loads of stuff inside the roof box and um, you know coupled with the bike rack and a roof box I think we'll have the van inside really empty like I like it for when we go away on holiday um, the next one is to upgrade the solar charge controller um, to an MPPT one and that'll give me much better um, sort of charging capabilities from the the solar panel that I've got plus coupled with that is a brand new leisure battery a a much bigger one than I've got so I'm gonna have to upgrade the tray and everything so that's gonna be a future upgrade um, the next one is possibly swivel seat um, I know everybody raves about them and they're amazing but my little seat box there is pretty cool but could I put a swivel seat in as well and have maybe both I don't know so uh, that's that's a possible upgrade in the future and the last one's a bit of a funny one really but I'm gonna try and get rid of like these huge mattresses yeah I've got four of these. these these are just two that sit back here for this downstairs and there's two that go upstairs and I've got ideas to get rid of all of them mattresses so um, hopefully that'll work out really well that's a bit of a plan for the future I've got it all kind of worked out I just need to get on with it and get it done but that'll help with the space in the van loads if I don't have to carry any extra mattresses so yeah I think that's uh, everything I think I'm going to be doing so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one cheers thanks for watching